And it came to pass when King Hezekiah heard it, meaning the report of what the king of Assyria had said, who is a type of Antichrist, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy, for the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. In the future is since, it will be those who are deceived into thinking the day of the Lord has begun at the sixth trumpet that will die spiritually because they'll think Satan is Jesus, and if they fail to repent before the seventh angel sounds, sudden destruction will come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. They'll be saying peace and safety when Satan kills the two witnesses, who are most likely Moses and Elijah, but then three and a half days later, the true Christ will return just after those 7,000 fallen angels get blotted out of existence, as you can see in Revelation chapter 11, verse 13. It may be the Lord thy God will hear the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria, his master, has sent to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which the Lord thy God hath heard. Wherefore, lift up thy prayer prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria hath blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. But in the futurist sense, it's in the Battle of Armageddon, where Satan's role of Antichrist gets destroyed, which is when Satan himself gets locked up in the bottomless pit, and the sword is the one that proceeds out of the mouth of the true Christ, who is the Word of God. So Rabshakeh returned and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish, and he heard say concerning Tirhaka, king of Ethiopia, he has come forth to make war with thee, and when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria, looking forward to the great things and blasphemies that will come out of the mouth of Satan once he appears in Jerusalem, only he will be claiming to be Emmanuel God with us when he's really the desolator of Daniel chapter 9 verse 27, who appears in the midst of Daniel's 70th week, which was seven years, but is now five months. Behold, Rabshakeh continues with the message from King Sennacherib, which means sin, the moon, increases brothers, according to the Smith's Bible Dictionary, a type of the man of sin, as Satan is called in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and 666 lasts for 70 evenings or two and a half months, which is lunar as opposed to solar. Send the moon, increases brothers, adding them into Satan's family tree, causing them to die spiritually also, which is why death is one of Satan's names, and according to Hitchcock's Bible Names Dictionary, Sennacherib means bramble of destruction. Thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozan and Haran and Rezif and the children of Eden, which were in Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath and the king of Arphad and the king of the city of Savarvium, Hena and Iva, trying to get Hezekiah to cave by way of intimidation here and surrender Jerusalem once again through a messenger and in the future ascents, the image of the beast will be an image of Satan himself beginning at 666 transmitted throughout the globe along with the images of his fallen angel locust army, deceiving the inhabitants of the heavenly Jerusalem who will be on earth at that time with the exception of those of the Zadok into worshiping Satan instead of Christ, causing them to die spiritually. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it, and Hezekiah went up unto the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwelleth 
Jesus, between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear all the words of Sennacherib, which has sent to reproach the living God. Again, a type of the great things and blasphemies that will come from Satan's mouth when he appears in Jerusalem at 666, when his image gets transmitted throughout the world, along with the images of his fallen angel locust army in the consumer stage thereof. This is why you see in the fourth seal, hell followed with death, which is at the woe of the sixth trumpet when the spiritual death occurs, and that word hell is Hades, and according to the Strong's Concordance, Tartarus is the deepest abyss of Hades, where the fallen angels were cast, as you can see in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, the 7,000 fallen angels being the negative to the positive of the rest of the 7,000 Zadok that return with Christ at the woe of the seventh trumpet of a truth, Lord, Hezekiah continues to say, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were no gods but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore have they destroyed them, Satan being the false rock who is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, who will deceive people into thinking he's destroying false religion when he'll really be bringing about global Satanism with his one world religious system that comes into being once he appears as the false Christ. Now therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, whereas thou prayest to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, God hears your prayers. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. And notice the word virgin here. And remember, it's only those of the seven thousand Zadok who are the church in Philadelphia that will remain virgin spiritually all throughout the five month long hour of temptation, never ceasing to be citizens of the heavenly Jerusalem. And once they're delivered up and the Holy Spirit speaks through them, those who repent will be considered virgins once again and able to take part in the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? This is to the Assyrian, and against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? And as you can see in Revelation chapter 13, verse 6, he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. By thy servants hast thou reproached the Lord, and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, in the forest of his carmel. I have digged and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of the besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now have I brought it to pass, God says, that thou shouldest be to lay waste defense cities into ruinous heaps. In other words, the negative part of God's plan is what the king of Assyria will be used to carry out. Therefore, their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded, and they were as the grass of the field, and as the green herb, and as the grass on the housetops, and as corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me, Satan's hatred toward our Heavenly Father, even going back all the way to the First World Age. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore will I put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way which thou camest. And so it was historically with Sennacherib, but in the futurist sense, both Satan and his role of Antichrist will eventually be blotted out of existence, being turned back into nothing. The same goes for his fallen angel locust army, including those ten fallen angel kings just before the seventh angel sounds, and then whoever follows Satan once he's released from the bottomless pit after the thousand years are finished. That's when he's the eighth king of Revelation chapter 17 verse 11 when he goeth into perdition, which means he'll get cast into the lake of fire at that time. And this shall be a sign unto thee, ye shall eat this year such as groweth of itself, and the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear 
fruit upward. Remember Isaiah's son back in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 3 was named Shear Jashub, which means the remnant shall return. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. The good figs being the seven thousands of dock, as well as the 144,000 and whosoever will that become the millennial priesthood in the first resurrection who Christ will use to teach discipline through whereby many will obtain the wherewithal it takes to stand against Satan after the thousand years are finished and take part in the second resurrection being then able to go into the third world age as citizens of the new which means the eternal Jerusalem therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria he shall not come into this city nor shoot an arrow there nor come before it with shields nor cast a bank against it by the way that he came by the same shall he return and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord, for I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake and for my servant David's sake. And again, those of the Zadok remain citizens of the heavenly Jerusalem, and added to that number will be the 144,000, as well as whosoever will, because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during that time. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. That's a hundred and eighty five thousand and when they arose early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses a type of the destruction of the seven thousand fallen angels in the earthquake you can read of in revelation chapter 11 verse 13 as well as joel chapter 2 verse 10 again it only appeared to be two hundred thousand thousand when their images were transmitted throughout the world during 666 but there's really only seven thousand fallen angels and we see here in isaiah chapter 37 verse 36 185,000 slain, which is also written in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35. And some even say one verse says 185,000, while another says 5,180 because of an additional vav in Isaiah 37, 36. And if so, this also looks forward to the 7,000 fallen angels appearing to be 200,000,000, which really means two myriads of myriads, which is an innumerable multitude, and is after the 7,000 fallen angels get destroyed in the earthquake, the true Christ returns and destroys Satan's role of Antichrist. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that Adremelech and Sherezer, his son, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia. But again, in the future sense, the sword is the one that comes out of the mouth of the true Christ, who is the word of God. And Esther had and his son reigned in his stead, ending the story of Sennacherib, but Satan himself will get locked up in the bottomless pit once his role of Antichrist gets destroyed when the true Christ returns. And after the thousand years are finished, Satan will ascend out of the bottomless pit, then gathering an army of whoever chooses to follow him again at that time, then attempting to invade Jerusalem, but then they're all blotted out of existence in the lake of fire. Everyone else will go into the eternity as citizens of the new, which means the eternal Jerusalem in the third earth and heaven age.